Welcome to another spontaneous toy review here at Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. I'm your host, Scott Zillner, and today we're going to cover Masters of the WW Universe, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. I don't know who he is. I don't. But man, I wanted that figure. He looks great. He's got a flaming sword in this picture fighting the, the Undertaker. Mm. W, or Triple H. Mm. No, it's just Triple H. Triple H. It's fighting Triple H. Undertaker is a nice glow-in-the-dark figure, which I have already covered. And that was the figure that really got me into getting these WWE figures. Because I wanted that glow-in-the-dark body parts. But after playing around with them and playing with the other Masters of the Universe origin figures, I'm just like... I'm in love with this entire line. The fact that we get two lines that are fully compatible is just fantastic. So, what is he? He is Slayer of Kings and Beasts. He's got a very uh, like Persian title there to him. Has a flaming sword. And uh, interesting enough, he's got a uh, Zodak chest plate with a backpack booster now the regular zodak doesn't have that backpack booster so this is actually a better backpack that's really interesting all right i don't know why these things are, are packed they pack these accessories really difficult to get open like they're just like there's no way to actually open these easily you have to just kind of tear into them and then pull the things out. It's just getting that bag open is not the nicest way. That's a nice flaming sword. I dig it. I dig everything about this figure. I love the look on his face. I love he's got the beard and the long hair. Um, the complexion's a bit different. Uh, it's a little darker, which is great. Uh, it gives you more diversity for your figures, for your customizations. I love the black and gold look on his outfit. And then he's got a flaming sword that fits in his hands. Bam! This is a nice figure. It's a, uh, again, part of the Zodak corpse there. Like he could be a field commander. I want to get a Zodak helmet in black and then put that on that arm. Also, if you need to make your Wonder Bread, uh, uh, Wonder Bread, <laughs> if you want to make your Wonder Bread He-Man, sometimes they put that chest place on it. Uh, I really hope they give us a Wonder Bread Savage He-Man Come on, Mattel, give it to us. You know they will. It's going to be an exclusive of some sort. And they're just waiting for the right moment to uh, to let us have it. So this is a great figure for me. Again, I know nothing about the wrestling version of him. I just like him as a figure. For my Masters of the Universe line, he's a great figure. Just right there. It's just awesome. Um, certainly wrestling people will be like, oh, but this, this. I don't, I don't care about the wrestling part of it. No, for me, wrestling died like maybe 1990. I was done with wrestling at that point. I pay attention barely to it these days. But the vintage wrestling, I was really into it. So when you get, you know, Rowdy Piper and Macho Man and Hulk, then I'm into it. Uh, the newer wrestlers, I just don't know who they are. And I, I painted them for years with Jax and Mattel on those action figure lines. And I still just didn't pay any attention to who was coming up and who was doing what. So, sorry. <laughs> I do know how the tattoos go on Batista. I know how the tattoos go on Undertaker and Rock. Like, I know exactly where their tattoos are because I've done it so many times on so many figures. But uh, I didn't pay attention to the wrestlers. But I do love these wrestler figures because they're Masters of the Universe wrestler figures. Again, you can take these knee pad things off and put them up over on the arms and they make nice little gauntlets. So I've been doing that as well. Great figure superb figures one of my favorite figures of the w 
uh, W E uh, line because I've not I don't know him. I don't know who he is. I just love the look. He sold me on his look. Like this is a great figure. I'm going to buy that. I know nothing about the wrestling, but I wanted that figure. I still want Triple H too. I never got a Triple H. Maybe we'll get a reversion of him at some point and I'll buy that one. But until then, boom, these figures are great. I'm doing a ton of videos. So check our playlist for WWE uh, Universe figures or Master Universe Origin figures. And I've got a lot of reviews on these and he's gonna go on Snake Mountain. All my figures go into Snake Mountain. I'm populating the entire front of Snake Mountain. And now I have so many figures, I'm starting to populate the back of Snake Mountain. <laughs> I may have to like, get my Castle Grayskull from where it's up really high and bring it down closer to Snake Mountain so I can keep moving more figures in with it. And those are the classic Snake Mountain and the classic Castle Grayskull. Bam. Seth Rollins. Go out and get this figure because he's cool. <laughs> Please remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment, follow us on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on uh what else do we got facebook on youtube we're on youtube now follow like subscribe leave comments do all that fun stuff and we can keep bringing you such great content thanks everybody oh so uh no one Thank <laughs> you.